Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to hop on here and do a three month update on my Celine box bag in the size medium. If you follow me consistently or you've seen my last video, you'll know that I picked up this item back in December and posted a video about it doing a full unboxing and semi review. So I wanted to go ahead and just do a three month update on wear and tear, what I love and hate about this bag, pros and cons, and whether or not I would recommend it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pick up this beauty here so you can see it a little bit closer. Again, this is the Celine Classic Box Bag in the size medium. There's been some talk that this item might be discontinued, although I've not seen for sure if that is the case. I did pick this up over the winter holiday break between uh, Christmas and New Year's this past year at the Celine Boutique in New York City. This is a beautiful piece. I would highly recommend it. If I had to do it all over again, I would purchase this. I think that this is an item that should be in everyone's collection but let's get started with what I dislike about the bag the clip and how it opens and closes can be a little finicky so if you're wearing this bag which I often wear crossbody and you're looking at it from the top right so the bag would be facing you this way if you're wearing a crossbody it's hard to quickly get in and out of the bag because when you push down on this clip you have to sort of lift it up for it to come off of this piece here, right? Let me know if you can see that. See, it doesn't just slide open. You have to pull it out and up for it to come off. So that's one part that I dislike. Um, I often wonder if the interior piece will scratch. Yeah, and you can see it kind of focusing there. I think over time it might scratch or damage the interior piece because of the way that you have to sort of open and close it. It causes this buckle to rub up against this piece, this, this hardware here. So that's one thing I don't like about it is just getting in and out of the bag. I just don't think it's as user-friendly and easier. That said, I do like this, the fact that you press on it and it opens and closes. I just kind of wish that if you press on it, it just automatically slid open without having to maneuver it. Other things I dislike, so I love the interior accordion, right? This is very spacious. You can fit a ton of stuff in here. But one thing I dislike is this back pocket here. I think it's nice and it's great, this front piece. You can easily access it, but the zipper can be a little difficult to get in and out of, particularly if you're wearing the bag crossbody. Again, you would be looking at the item from the top if you're wearing it crossbody and the front and back pockets are very easy to get into, so it's not too much trouble for me. Um, I appreciate the ample room and space there. It's very generous, um, and I use these pockets very, very often, so I don't find that I need this back slip pocket, but you can see what I mean, right? It's kind of hard to see and access it from the top, and the zipper, it just it's not as user-friendly and easy to get to, I probably would have enjoyed the bag better if the zipper had been in the middle, maybe like a middle zipper pocket compartment. Uh, the Lulu is like that, the YSL Lulu is like that. So instead of having the zipper back here, they would have the zipper here and have sort of a middle thin compartment that zippers close in case you wanna secure any items while still keeping this generous front and back pocket. The other thing I don't like about this bag is the fact that you can adjust it which is great, I love that you can adjust it, it's how you adjust it. So I'll show you what I mean. It is a very versatile piece. I've seen this bag worn as a clutch where people take the strap off altogether and they just wear it like so under their arm, which is very chic. Um, you can see here that there's these pieces here so you can sort of like drag the, you can drag the handle of the bag or the strap of the bag to your desired length and where you'd like this piece to be. But what I don't like about the bag is particularly these pieces and the fact that it slides and there's nothing here clipping it secure. So once you adjust the bag strap to where you want it, it continuously slides on and off. So I've worn this bag as a shoulder bag, I've worn it as a crossbody, right now I have it as a shoulder bag. And what I've found is that you need to, this, the hardware piece here, you want them at the right location because they can be quite uncomfortable and dig into your shoulder and they're hard and pointy. The edges are not smooth, they're not rounded, they're square. 
um, and very pointy on the edge. So you have to be very cautious. You don't want this hitting your shoulder, particularly if you're wearing a thin blouse or a sleeveless top. You want to just be careful that this isn't hitting your skin. So what I try to do is I try to turn it. Let me see if I can do that here or just the strap pulling it like so, right? So that it hits here on the side. And when I wear this, this top part, the all leather part is hitting my shoulder and my skin. But what I've found is that as you're wearing it throughout the day, this automatically shifts by itself and automatically starts to pull the hardware back up. So I find myself throughout the day having to constantly readjust it by re-sliding the strap back down so that I can get the hardware pieces back to where they are over here. So that's one piece I don't like. The other piece is how you adjust the strap. So the hardware, and they taught me how to do this in the store, you have to pull this up here and you see the holes there, right? Um, you have, I think they're this way, the holes are over here. So you have to unclip the two hardware pieces, so that one and this one here, by pulling it up. And if you're not careful, because it is hard, and this is what the gentleman in the store taught me, is use the leather to pull it up, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You have to adjust both of them. So you have to slide it like so, and it can just be a little tedious. It's not easy, it's not super smooth, um, you have to have the hardware just so, and you have to line up both. Um, you see what I'm saying? Like, as I'm doing it with you, it's off. It's really difficult. Let's see if we can. All right. So I got one. I clipped that in, and now I have to get this one. See, and now this one doesn't have a hole. It's bad enough you have to coordinate one. The fact that you have to coordinate two is kind of annoying. Comment down below if you have this bag and you've mastered it. I find it to be tedious and not as user-friendly. I love the versatility of the bag. In hindsight, wish I had gotten the teen size. The teen size just fits me perfectly crossbody. This is a little big, it's a little bulky. Um, it's a classic piece, it's a classic size, so I, I always had my eye on the medium. This is nice because you can adjust it and it's versatile. It's, it's annoying and hard to adjust and I find myself not bothering. I'm gonna get it to the crossbody size that I had. Okay, so I got this lined up right. It's annoying to adjust. That's what I don't like about the bag. The other thing I don't like is when you're wearing this bag and your hands are a little clammy, which mine tend to be, you get that sort of handprint there. So if you're wearing this bag and you have your hand on it, it shows the sweat marks. What I do like about the bag is the sleekness of the box leather. I think it's very chic, it's very sophisticated, very classy. You can see that there in the light. It has this beautiful shimmer. It's just such a stunning, stunning bag, very classy. I mean, it's very understated. You don't have any labels or names being flashed all over and splattered across the bag, which I really love. I can wear this to work. I can wear this into New York City and not feel like I'm putting my brands out there to you know, showcase, which don't get me wrong, I love doing, but there's a time and place. This is very chic, understated, sort of Parisian chic in my opinion, very spacious. You have the little Celine Paris name right there. It's again, hidden on the interior of the bag. And unless someone really knows their handbags, they wouldn't know what type of handbag this is. This is very generous on the interior. I can fit my cell phone. I can fit a ton of stuff. I have to clean that there. You have these extra pockets here in the front so you can put your lipsticks if you wanna throw in, maybe even like your, your small key fob or Pencils, pens, anything that you need easy, quick access to, I think that that's great and very helpful. You've got this nice big interior here, beautiful, and it's all leather. Even on the interior, it is all leather throughout. The price tag on this bag is a little bit hefty. I will link it down below for you. I will also link the teen size bag if you're looking for a smaller size. But for me, I felt like this was only a couple hundred dollars more than the teen, and it is such a classic 
size, I just felt like I had to go with the medium. Again, in hindsight, would I consider the teen versus this one? Maybe. I really thought long and hard about the two different sizes and ultimately I went with the medium because it is the more classic size and ultimately I'm getting this bag as a classic staple in my wardrobe and in addition to my collection. So I just felt that the classic medium was the way to go. This does not have any back pockets. Uh, I think it would have been nice to have a quick, you know, easy back pocket that you can reach into without having to get in and out of the bag and open and close it. But at the same time, I think it's nice because it does add an extra level of security. The fact that you do have to open the bag in order to get into it. You don't have to worry about any of your belongings being outside or being at risk of theft. It's just a stunning bag. I would highly recommend it. Those are my pros and cons. Um, you know, the strap I think could be better. I don't like the fact that there's nothing securing the strap in place on the inside. I think it would have been nice to add maybe one of those little, a quick snap, a very easy snap right here on the inside, even if it's just one in the middle, just to hold it in place. So if you do rearrange the strap size, you don't have to worry about this sliding up and down. And again, you know, making it easier to get in and out of, but uh, let me know your thoughts on this bag. I'd love to hear. Comment down below. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Girl Gone Lux for additional content and behind the scenes information. Thank you so much for staying tuned with me. Until next time, bye.